Hey everyone, Andrew here, Melbourne Superman, and it is time for another suit review. So today, in honor of the Snyder Cut, of course, being released, I'm going to be reviewing this suit from Replica Industries, which is, of course, my Batman v Superman style, uh, Dawn of Justice style Superman suit made by Replica Industries. So just a couple of housekeeping uh things right off the bat. A, if you're new to this, basically what I'll do is I'll talk a little bit about the overview of the suit, and then I'll talk about the breakdown, the details of the suit. I'll get into the seller experience, uh, all that good stuff. I'll, I'll talk a little bit about what's coming up as well. And also, just so you know, you can see this here poking up out of the top. Pay that no mind. That's not part of the suit, of course. I basically dressed up uh, Clark 2.0 here. Um, I put some uh, compression tights on him and this shirt just so that, uh, you know, I didn't tear the suit um, as I was putting it on him. Because for whatever reason, this mannequin, there are some rough edges there. So just so you know, that's not part of the suit. Uh, it is a Superman shirt, but it's not part of this suit. So uh, that being said, here we go. We're going to get into this suit review of the Replica Industries Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice Superman style suit. Okay, so on first glance, well, at first glance, uh, we can see that the suit is very, very well put together. Again, if you are new to this, I will do some close-ups of the detail up and down the suit in the next section. So basically, just as an overview from top to bottom, uh, first off, the suit was quoted at around 12 to 15 weeks. Uh, the suit was done uh, within that time frame, which was awesome. Um, of course, with COVID and everything, and also it was finished um, near the holidays, so the seller sent it a little bit later just to make sure that it did get to me in a timely fashion. Starting at the top of the suit, we of course have the emblem, which is it's just it's an amazing, amazing emblem. Some quality work in there. He did add some uh, nuances in there, which I'll talk about in a little bit. Of course, the suit itself is uh, painted with the pattern on it, so it's all just hand done, which is beautiful. And the, the, the suit, the, the material itself is kind of translucent because underneath, and I'll put some pictures up so that you can see, and I'm gonna do something a little bit different in this video as well, that, uh, that I haven't done with suit reviews before. I'm gonna put some added footage in here so you can actually see me moving around in the suit. Uh, but basically, underneath the suit is a chrome muscle suit, and when the light hits it, when, when you're doing your thing, you can see the muscles popping out like you do in the, in the film. It's a very screen accurate uh, style suit, which is, which is amazing. It's got the Kryptonian S uh, script on the side, of course, on the sleeves. The trim is all hand glued on. The belt is the square buckle as in Batman v Superman. Moving down, there is the quad muscles in the suit. It's a very, uh, in terms of the muscle suit, very natural looking, very much more natural looking than some other muscle suits out there. Uh, but it is, it is fantastic. In terms of the cape, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's nice. It's now, I'm gonna preface this by saying the seller in Iraq Industries we have been communicating because whenever I get a suit, I talk to the seller and, you know, I talk to them about my concerns or things that aren't uh, what I expected. And this seller, which I'll get into in the seller experience, has gone above and beyond to sort that out. So the cape actually flows really nicely. It is the material. Again, I'll get a close up in a little bit. It's pretty close to what we see on the screen. I don't know that it's exact, but it is pretty close. It's very nice. Uh, and then the boots, which are here, uh, the boots are here. Uh, they're very comfortable, actually. They're fitted with like water shoes or something or other in there um, so that you can wear them long term. There's some solid, you know, soles on them. So they're really, they're really, really comfortable and they're put together very well. Again, there are some uh, uh, concerns that I had with the boots, but I will go into that in the in the details. So overall, that is that is the sort of suit overview and, and what we're looking at here. That's the replica industry suit. So now we're gonna get into the breakdown and I'm gonna do some close-ups for you. 
Okay, so here we go. We're gonna get right in again. Don't worry about that. That's not part of the suit. So starting from the top, you can just see how detailed everything is. That trim is just beautiful. The paint is just beautiful. You can actually sort of see it shimmer. I'll see if I can manipulate the light so it shimmers a little bit. Uh, coming down to the S, you can see it is really, really nice. The only thing with the S is there is a slight imperfection here, which I, I was told had a fix and I will fix it, but it's just kind of, it's kind of uh, warped a little bit there. And I think that that just has to do with the fact that this was very thin and it's, you know, it's a delicate material. So, you know, it's, I think it's easily fixed. I just have to actually do it. I'm just so scared to uh, mess it up, <laughs> so, but I can fix it. Uh, but you can see, see if I move the camera angle, you can see that imperfection a little bit more, um, which of course is not ideal when that's the focus of the suit. But again, it's a small, you know, it's a small thing that I, I should be able to fix. Uh, and you can see here in the close-ups, you can see he's added this blue sort of outline, which I don't think is screen accurate. I don't feel like it is, but I really... I really dig it. I really, really love it. It matches the rest of everything really well. And again, you got to remember with these things, you know, they are handmade. So like imperfections, it, it happens. Um, you know, that what you see on the screen probably cost about 10 times as much to make because they had machines, they had this, they had that. The people that make these suits, you know, they're human and they're going to make, they're going to make errors, but it's a beautiful suit. And then you can see over here, you can sort of see the the light shimmering off the chrome muscle suit. Let me see if I can get, uh, nah, it's too tight. Otherwise I would show you the chrome inside of it, but let's see if I can finagle. Oh yeah, there you go. You can see the, yeah, there we go. You can see how the muscle suit sort of shimmers in there and how natural it looks. So we're gonna come down over to the sides, the arms, shoulders. You can see the Kryptonian sort of script there. Here's the cape and the cape is, it's got, uh, come on, focus. There we go. It's got some ridges on it, kind of like you do see in the film. Uh, now, the seller will be actually sending me another cape uh, because he I don't think he was happy with how this one turned out. You know, it is kind of, it is kind of, uh, not unfinished, but it is kind of, I think, a little bit, uh, I don't know what the word is. It's just, I think it's it's not as tidy as it could be. Uh, as you see here, there's some hemlines that are a little bit, a little bit, not, not the best, but you know, uh, again, I can understand what he was doing. Uh, you know, it's all about making it flow really well. And I got to say in the wind, it really does flow well. So we're going to move down uh, to the belt buckle. And now you can, I'm trying to focus here. You can see the detail in the belt buckle. You can see the detail on the trim. Now again, this trim, I don't know, I think in this, in the, in the film, this trim might be actually gold, all gold, but I tend to really like this black and gold look. I think it's very cool. Then we move down to the, the muscles and the legs, which actually look really natural and really nice. So that's, that's there. That's the, um, that's the close-ups of the Replica Industries Superman, Batman v Superman suit. So I'll talk a little bit about the size of the cape and the boots next. Okay, now talking about the cape, I actually really like it. it you know, like I said before, he's gonna send another cape because I think he wants a more screen accurate cape, but it, it does flow well. The thing that is nice about this now, it doesn't actually reach the ground which I know is not screen accurate in the movie. It actually, it's just above the ground. This is a little bit shorter than that. And I kind of, I don't mind that because I'm less in my head that it's gonna get ruined by touching the ground when I'm wearing it. That's, that's the only downfall about really expensive suits is that you're kind of afraid to wear them sometimes. So in terms of the wingspan, really, really solid wingspan. Actually, that's kind of like the first time that I'm really looking at it. And again, like I say in the other videos, that's kind of like half and the other half goes out onto the other side. So that's the wingspan. In terms of the, the boots, you can, you can really get some nice close-ups in here. And you can see these are all hand-painted as well. The boots, uh, on the other boot, there's a little bit of, the sole is coming off a little bit. But again, uh, he, the seller is sending me some new boots. Like, I offered to send these ones back to him, but he was like, no, 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 keep them. So... 
that's that's a pretty big deal. So, and I will get into that seller experience next, actually. So that is the breakdown of everything from top to bottom. Of course, you know, the emblem, the belt buckle, all the trim, it's all urethane, all the paint is 3D paint. And, you know, the, the, the suit itself, the material was made uh, and supplied by Parallel Life Studios. So made by Replica Industries, the material supplied by Parallel Life Studios. So on to the seller experience. Okay, so the overall seller experience. So like I said, when I first contacted Replica Industries, you know, I had seen the suit, uh, you know, I'd seen, I think I'd seen the suit on the Gaslight uh, Instagram actually. And I reached out to Gaslight and I said, yo, how can I get this suit? And they told me that Replica Industries made it. So I reached out to Replica Industries, formed a great relationship right off the bat, you know, very, very communicative, uh, communicative, communicative. <laughs> And, you know, it was a very, very easy process. I said, look, this is what I want. We went back and forth a little bit and off we went. You know, there was never a time where I couldn't really get a hold of, of Replica Industries, uh, Mish. Uh, Mish or Mitch? I'm thinking Mish because I think he's French. Um, so if I've messed up your name, my profound apologies. Um, but there was never a time where I couldn't get hold of him. He was always there within, you know, when I reach out to a seller, I expect, you know, to have some kind of response, you know, whether it be, you know, I, I don't know, to me within 72 hours is ideal within the week is realistically fine. If it takes longer than that, then I start to wonder, Oh, why isn't this person getting back to me? I understand that life happens, but you know, some sellers, uh, if you've seen my other review, zip reviews of this other seller, you know that there are some sellers that just don't get back to you. So I was very appreciative of that. Now, when I finally did re receive the suit, so again, he quoted about 12 weeks turnaround time. The suit was 12 to 15 weeks. I think the suit was completed within, I think within 14 weeks, which is right, right there in that sweet spot. And it was completed right around Christmas. And so he, he waited because he didn't want, he didn't want any troubles with shipping. So, I think probably he shipped it maybe, I think 15 or 16 weeks after I had ordered it, maybe a little bit longer, but again, you know, COVID, uh, there was, you know, the holidays. So we just wanted to make sure we got the suit. Speaking of COVID, he actually was, he contracted COVID and he still worked through this thing. So that was amazing. Just the work ethic <sighs> off the charts. So when I finally got the suit, I reached out to him and I said, look, there's a couple things that I have that I'm concerned about. How do I, how do we go about, what can we do here? He was at that point, he was a bit sick and he passed me on to one of his uh, coworkers and I've worked with that person a little bit. So we, you know, he offered, both of them offered graciously to send me the new boots, make me a new cape. And, you know, I've, I've already gotten some progress pictures of the new boots. I'm really excited about them. So, you know, overall, the seller was really good. I would totally, I think, work with him again. Like, I mean, yes, is it an expensive suit? Yeah, you know, and in terms of the suits go, it's up there. You know, it's, it's, it's probably the most expensive suit that I own, but so much goes into it and it's just a beautiful, it's a beautiful work of art, I think. Will I go with him again? Most likely, most likely I will. What type of suit that's gonna be? Dunno. Uh, maybe it's the resurrection suit? Dunno. Um, but that's, uh, that's the overall seller experience. You know, I, I really, really enjoyed working with, this, uh, working with this seller. Okay. So overall, that is your replica industries, Batman v Superman Dawn of justice suit review. You know, overall great suit, like eight out of 10, I think eight out of 10, maybe eight and a half out of 10. Again, the only reason it's not a 10 out of 10 is just because of the, the, the flaw in the S, which is a kind of a, a bummer, um, you know. But even that, like like I said before, it's kind of, you know, it's it's, it's man-made. And I, it's not really fair to give them less than a 9, 9.5 out of 10 because they are going above and beyond 
to really sort of rectify everything. Not that there was any big problems, right? Like, like I said, working with this seller was amazing. The suit is amazing. Excuse me. Uh, you've seen me now. I, I've revealed the suit. You've seen the photos of the suit. You know it photographs well. Very minimal things do I need to do to this suit in Photoshop to make it look good. It's just overall a fantastic suit. Mo one of the most beautiful suits that I own. So really, really happy with it. So that's your suit review on the Replica Industry suit. Be sure to make sure that you stay tuned because I do have other reviews that I'm going to do. I'm going to do my action costumes suit review. I'm going to do, oh, man, is that it? Is that all I have? No, I can't be. I must have more suits than that. I definitely do. I'll figure it out. <laughs> Um, I, I may or may not have started another suit with Unmasked Studio, like I said, you know, so that might be coming. Uh, and aside from that, make sure you please like the video, comment, subscribe, click the bell, turn on the notifications whenever I have a new video out, you'll be first to know. If you haven't already checked it out, be sure to check out the Kryptonian Chronicles where myself and Jake, Superman14JF, talk about pop culture, Superman news, and a bunch of cool stuff. And make sure you check out my Instagram page at Melbourne Superman. So look, thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you next time. It's so shiny. It is. It's really shiny, but it's yeah, it's never gonna be an owl suit. How do you feel with your Actually, own? yeah, that's great. Um, the other thing would be, uh, you have to test over here doing his typical...